Hey guys, before I start this video, I wanted to quickly talk about a couple of things. So IGG last week sent everybody in the YouTuber program, which is like me and I think 10 other YouTubers. They said, hey guys, on April 11th, we're going to be coming out with all kinds of events, plus handing out a free Anubis, plus the top dog skin and some other things as well. Would you guys be interested in making a video basically to share the community that way they know about this event? Now me personally, I was going to make a video no matter what. Anytime they're handing out something free, I'm going to let you guys know, right? That's just how I am. So of course, I responded to the email and I'm like, yeah, 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 I'll make a video. You know, that is what it is. They're like, okay, well, we'll give you, you know, like a hundred fang for making the video, whatever they're going to give me. It doesn't even matter. It's not going to be useful for my main account. Let's just be serious. But they did say that they were going to watch this video and I was like, all right, you know, I wanted to actually say a couple of things since they're going to be watching it. And one question I've been getting asked a lot lately is JT, what do you think about Castle Clash? What are you, the road it's headed in? You know, are you going to be quitting the game? I just wanted to answer a couple things and say something to IGG right quick. So basically, the answer is no. I'm not going to be quitting Castle Clash. It's overall still one of my, or it is my favorite mobile game. Just all the different things about it, the talent changes, all the heroes, the way your fingers interact with the phone, make things work. Just like I love really everything about Castle Clash and including all the game modes. By far, I love all the game modes in this game. Like at, when it comes down to actually playing them, love them. Now here's the issue we're having. All the game modes do not give out good enough rewards to interest players to even play them. And what that's doing is, is it's making it a lack of competition in pretty much all the game modes. So a simple way to fix, let me just explain to you guys, if we go into the events, for example, on even my main account, my free to play, whatever, and you look at these rewards, I mean, you are literally getting insane rewards from Pirate's Booty. Why are these types of rewards not implemented in all the game modes? Imagine playing Squad Showdown at the end of the week. Oh, you placed in whatever place, you get a Prime Insignia Pack 8. That would be freaking sick. Or, for example, Levanica Bags. Oh, you guys, you know what? Let's, uh, let's promote, we're going to put Levanica Bags in Lava Isle 3 now. So, small chance, 1% chance you can get a Levanica Bag 1, but you can still get that Levanica Bag 1. How many people would be doing Lava Owl? Let's be serious. I'd be logging on my free-to-play every day right when I woke up, like, let's get into Lava Owl. Let's get those Levanica Bags. But instead, we're still getting shards that are literally useless. I mean, if we go into these bazaars, you can get, what is this, 10,000? No, is this 100,000 shards? What is that, 10,000 or 100,000? JT, you don't know your math, kid. Um, so 20 times 500 would be 10,000. Yes, yeah, so this is 100,000 shards. You can get 100,000 shards for $5. And a dove keeper. Like, what, dude? How's that? An, that's the, There's no incentive to even run Lost Realm. If you can spend $5 and get 100,000 shards, that's a main resource that Lost Realm, or, uh, Lost Realm, sorry, that Lava Isle even gives. But talking about Lost Realm, when we go into Lost Realm, why are there not better insignias in Lost Realm? Like, what's the point of playing Lost Realm when I can go into Pirate's Booty and get one level 8 Prime Insignia pack from spending some gems or I could sit here and play this for four years now and I still wouldn't even be able to have one level eight insignia. All this stuff needs to be updated big time. And whenever I say updating, like for example, if we go into Guild Wars, we don't want to see fame only in Guild Wars. Like whenever I say the rewards need to be updated, that doesn't mean like we need to go from handing out you know, 1,800 fame for Guild Wars to 5,000 fame for Guild Wars. No, we need completely different rewards altogether. Yeah, handing out fame would still be great, but add some other things as well. Level 9 talent runes, igniting stones, zenith stones, apex crystals, all the stuff that people need in the game, maybe even more rewards that you can come up with that just interest people in playing. Like, how long has it been since Torch Battle rewards have been upgraded? It has been since it came out. It's been handing out the same rewards since it came out. Let's make Torch Battles fun again. Let's make Squad Showdown fun again. Let's make Lost Battlefield fun again. Hand out rewards that people freaking need and update the game. We don't want to just see every update after update. It's just, oh, here's a new hero. You can buy the new hero in the bazaar. Wait two weeks and it'll be a hundred bucks. And that's exactly what happened today. Oh, whoop, there's Cosmo sitting in the bazaar for a hundred bucks along with all kinds of other stuff. It's like, that's fine. You can still make your money from the game, but... You're not going to make any money from the game if people aren't interested in playing the game modes and having fun and being competitive, right? We can even add gems to all these game modes. I mean, imagine playing Arena, Lost Battlefield, any of this stuff, and you just win extra gems. I guess you already get gems in Lost Battlefield, but other game modes as well. I mean, you guys get the point. 
Game modes need to be updated. There's no reason at all that I should be signing on pumped up for Pirate's Booty instead of playing game modes. I'm more happy to play Pirate's Booty than I am to play any game mode in this game. How pathetic is that? I'm like, oh yeah, Pirate's Booty's around. It's like, no, dude. Remember two years back when Guild Wars first came out and everybody was like, oh my gosh, fame is so important in this game. We need to switch guilds. We need to find the best guild. We need to get in here. We need to find the guild that just comes in first place, gives the best fame possible, because that's what you needed to evolve heroes, double evolve heroes. Now that fame is almost useless in this game, we need all these game modes to be updated where people still get that same adrenaline rush feeling when they go into Guild Wars if they lose a fight, if they win a fight. If I go into Guild Wars on my main account, do you think I care if I lose a fight? No. I could care less. What's it going to change? It's not going to change anything at all. It's almost stupid at that point. You know what I mean? So it just needs to be changed a little bit. There's my two, uh, my two piece or uh, whatever I should say. I don't know, dude. I don't even know what to say next. I, I want to explain myself, but I feel like whenever I'm talking to them, I'm talking to a brick wall sometimes. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get into the video today. Now, we got a lot of stuff going on today, guys. Uh, make sure you guys log in and collect, obviously, the Castle Clash Clashers Day rewards, especially if you don't have Anubis. I mean, even if you do have Anubis, there's some good rewards there. A hundred of these books is really nice, especially for free-to-play players. So, you guys do not trip and and make sure you claim that package. I'm obviously going to claim that and do a little bit of Pirates Booty as well. I must not have any room in my warehouse. Let's go ahead and make some room. Go ahead and sell this junk. Sell this junk. I don't want to sell the 30 of the other hammers because I actually like having those hammers. In case I ever need to speed something up on the free-to-play, it's nice to have those there. But I will go ahead and use all these merits. Let's see anything else I can make more room with? Man, I have a ton of blue crystals now. That's actually nice to see that. And that's because Pirate's Booty hands out all the blue crystals and not the game mode itself, Lost Realm, which is pretty stupid. I should not I should be getting these blue crystals from actually playing the game like Lost Realm and other game modes, not from just once a week being like, oh, Pirate's Booty's around. Can't wait to get the blue. Come on. Come on. Let's just be serious. 13 level 5 talent chests. That's actually really nice. All right, so we got eight spots in the warehouse let's go ahead and collect the rest of this stuff it's nice to actually get those 50 skin scraps as well let's see oh that's too bad it's always nice to get the 300 gym quest so let's see today what all is going on obviously we got the clashers day make sure you guys do the clashers sign in as well if you miss out on one day the rewards simply reset and you're not going to want to do that so you're going to want to claim this each and every day and once it comes to day five you're going to start getting the cosmic shrine cards which are going to start adding up quick and it's going to unlock whatever that is. So make sure you guys snatch that up. We also have today Pirate's Booty and the Courtesy Card. So let's go ahead and snatch up the Courtesy Card. What is that? Challenge in Arena one time. All right. So double your reward by challenging in Arena. Obviously, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Snatch up the extra talent refresh card. And then in 10 minutes, that is going to update. All right. Very nice. We'll take that. Let me go ahead and open this up. Ooh, okay. What do we got? Actually, I don't even need anything. I'll take that back. I don't even need anything on my free-to-play. Pumpkin Duke, that is whatever. These two skull knight me. I still to this day have never gotten a skull knight from that. And I've, I don't know. I've opened up probably like 200,000 of those. I don't really know the exact number, but it's a lot. It's a lot. A backup Anubis on the free-to-play. Very nice. All right, so what else did I want to do? A little bit of Pirate's Booty action? Mm, yeah. Pirates Booty Rewards are freaking lit today, boys. They're lit every day. So I am mainly cheering still for the level 8 Prime Insignia Pack. Those are what's boosting my Lost Battlefield score day in and day out. I've noticed each week, the more of those you get on all your heroes, the better your account's going to be, right? Especially when you're free to play. There's literally no other way to get a level 8 Insignia in this game besides Pirates Booty, unfortunately. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into Pirates Booty. Hey, hit me up with that level 8 Insignia. 10 more talent refresh cards. Dude, I have... Let me see. How many talent refresh cards do I have on this account now? Because I'm starting to get a lot. Like a real lot. I have... Where are my talent refresh cards? I have 132 talent refresh cards. I feel like I'm on my pay-to-play account. That's absolutely insane. All right, so yeah. Let's go ahead and get in and do a little bit of Pirates Booty as well. We'll do... A 1200 draw just because we can't shy away from Pirate Booty. The rewards are too freaking good. None of the game modes hand out rewards, boys. So we're stuck with having to do some Pirates Booty action. All right, come on, baby. Ship your boy the level 8 insignia. Oh my gosh. Oh! 
Ho, ho, ho. I was going to say this is going to be bad because we got two Sasquatches and a Gunslinger, but look at that. We clutched up, boys, and we also got three of the Castle Chest 2s and some of the 4s. That was a really nice roll right there. We will take that. Go ahead and claim all these rewards and open them up, along with the eggs as well. All right, let's see what we got going down here. We got Castle Chest 2s, opening up these one at a time, cheering for the blue crystal steel. All right, that's actually okay. That's a ton of fame, like 9,000. That's 7,000 fame, so that's a lot of fame as well. And that's 12,000 fame. So that's a lot of fame given to us right there. We'll take that. From these, anything but really the brawler or the uh, the warden. What are these things called? The warden. Oh, that's going to frustrate me. Why can't I remember the name of that thing? All right, what's the name of those? i got to go in here and check it out. I don't remember how to get to that stupid thing. All right, so level up. What are these things? Birth rocks. That's right. All right, yeah, the warden birth rocks. I do not want to see warden birth rocks. Come on, baby. Anything but warden birth rocks. Okay, that's the best reward I could receive. Thank you. Give me another one. All right, Warden Birth Rocks. I'm happy with that, though. That actually was really nice. I got 166 Mastery Essences on my free-to-play as well, so I can literally max out, like, a lot of heroes at this point. And I'm starting to get a lot of shards also. From this Prime 8 pack, boys, we're going to get that first level 8 Revitalize on this account. I either want Revitalize or Survival is what I'm cheering for. Revitalize or Survival. Come on, baby. Revite me. Shoot. That's kind of a rough insignia right there. I don't really see. I'm going to be using it for the stats on my free-to-play just because I got a bunch of level 4 insignias places. But, I mean, overall, that's pretty bad. Pretty bad. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for today, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think about uh, my little speech about the game rewards? Shouldn't this be updated? Should IGG be listened to us? Send me up some good comments. I'll pin some stuff. I'll heart some stuff. That way they can see because I know for a fact they're going to be watching the video. Anyway, guys, I am out of here for now. Peace.